tomorrow, hopefully, is Geraldton. We've had four days at sea, and I am really going sea crazy. <laughs> I even walk around the different buffets all day just for something to do. Not that there isn't a lot to do on a cruise ship, but just, I am not a participator. So let's keep our fingers crossed that tomorrow is Geraldton. You can see the date. It is January 1st, 2019, even though it's going to be way past New Year's before you see this. A very happy New Year to you. Yay, we have Geraldton out there. Because Geraldton is a working port, which you can certainly see, they have buses that take you through the port to the entrance. You're not allowed to walk by yourself. Geraldton is located 42 kilometers north of Perth. And it has a population of about 38,000 people. The surf is always up in Geraldton, internationally renowned as a surfing destination. Unfortunately, that's not for us today. Or any day since I can't surf. The regatta is a relatively small ship. It's only, I think, 30,000 tons. For me, a group tour is akin to having my toenails pulled out one by one. I, I just don't have the patience to wait for hundreds of people. This is the heart of Geraldton. You have to keep in mind that the Aussies consider anything that's older than a hundred years old because it's a new nation. And basically, we feel the same in Chicago because we tear down everything that's old. A little recreational shopping, much more fun than on board the ship boutique. It's a lighthouse. Yeah, that looked like a lighthouse to me, but it's just on top yeah. of the pub. Yeah. Batavia Park, dedicated to those who lost their lives in the wreck of the Batavia in 1629. Big long story, but what it's about is here, Webby Hayes and some 20 others thought they would die, but they crossed to West Wallaby Island where they found food and water. And there's the regatta way back there, moored on the Indian Ocean. The Whitnum building was built for Edward and Frank Whitnum, pioneer pastoralists and businessmen. The building was once the familiar territory of every wool farmer in the district when they came to town. They operated this from 1899, bought and sold nearly all the wool exported through Geraldton.